Let's look at the differences between PCA, principal component analysis, and factor analysis. PCA and factor analysis are both techniques that are used in multivariate analysis. Multivariate analysis is a very important topic in statistics. Now, this whole concept of PCA and factor analysis is also very much prevailing in data science these days. Uh, but these two have some key differences. Now, let's look at those. Let's look at the purpose of PCA and factor analysis. PCA reduces the dimensionality of a data set, which means if you have hundreds of variables with you and um, obviously it will become very difficult to carry forward any sort of data science or data analysis work with these many variables which we call the curse of dimensionality. In that case PCA comes into play. You can reduce the number of variables without losing a lot of information and you can reduce to let's say 10 or 20 uh, how much ever you wish. We will call those new variables as principal components. Uh, the special thing about those variables are they are uncorrelated and they make sure that they, they explain maximum of the variance that were present in the data. In case of factor analysis, on the other hand, it aims to uncover the underlying latent factors that explain the variables that are al already with you. So in the data set, let's say there are 10 variables, factor analysis will try to understand other factors which are latent, which are not present in the data set, but they're influencing the data set. In terms of assumptions, PCA assumes that the observed variables are linearly related and that the variance in the data that is due to a linear combination of the variables. But in case of factor analysis, it assumes that the observed variables are influenced by some other factors that cannot be directly measured. In terms of approach, PCA constructs new variables that are nothing but linear combinations of the original variables. But in factor analysis, it tries to explain the relationship among the observed variables in terms of a smaller number of latent factors. Now while we are interpreting, PCA components do not have a direct interpretation. These are kind of a black box in terms of the observed variables since these are like a a linear combination of existing variables they may not have a meaning but in case of factor analysis the main aim is to interpret the factors that are responsible in terms of the observed variables in terms of use cases PCA is often used for dimensionality reduction like I mentioned earlier it is also used for data visualization because sometimes it is very difficult to visualize so many variables in one of the in one visual and uh, it is also used for feature extraction and uh, factor analysis is used when there's a desire to understand the underlying factors let's say there are some factors which are which couldn't be measured which couldn't be identified those are the things that can be uncovered using factor analysis so in summary pca focuses on reducing the dimensionality and capturing the maximum variance in the data while factor analysis aims to uncover latent factors that explain the relationship among observed variables PCA does not provide direct interpretation of components, whereas factor analysis seeks to interpret the factors in terms of observed variables.